Hey everybody, it's Ryan with Retired at 40. Welcome back to the Live Life Simple Kitchen. Today we're making an Italian American classic spaghetti with meatballs. And this video will be the first of many, many videos coming up that are gonna use the new tray dividers to give us equal portions because the goal of these tray dividers is to give us a consistent recipe that we can follow and get consistent results every time. So let's get started. Spaghetti is one of those things that is super inexpensive to make. Uh, it's super easy to make, and uh, you can make large portions of it. And it's a it's kind of a prepper or homesteader or freeze dryer's dream because uh, you're check marking all those three boxes. And I'm not actually using a recipe today. We're just doing store bought everything because spaghetti is one of those things that I feel like everyone kind of has their own twist they want to put on it. Um, so just three ingredients: we're doing our spaghetti noodles, our pasta sauce, and of course a meatball. We are going to have to cook an enormous amount of spaghetti noodles. So I'm going to get started on that first. All right, well our spaghetti's cooking. I want to talk about the meatballs that I chose. Uh, these are from Costco, they're Kirkland brand. They are pre-cooked and there are also 140 in this bag so that should give us plenty to do, enough for a large freeze dryer and enough to fit each compartment in our tray dividers which I'm going to show you in a second. One of my goals in this channel is to continuously make the freeze drying process easier. And one of the things that I have found to be the toughest about freeze drying is that if you're making uh, like an MRE or something that you're packing away for a while, it's hard to get a consistent product every single time and have an equal portion with uh, an equal amount of water that you need to add back in. So my goal moving forward is to kind of get the, uh, the whole freeze drying formula put together from start to finish, including rehydration. So with our dividers, we're able to do that because we can make the size of portion that we want. In this case, I think this is, this is a large tray. I think I'm gonna take every other out. And then I'm also gonna take both of the long sides out. And that's gonna leave us with 10 equal compartments. Uh, that would give us 50 portions if we did that on all five trays. I'm not actually gonna do all five trays uh, the same because I wanna see the difference between having everything in one compartment versus freeze drying everything separate and then putting it into um, a Mylar bag that way. See if it makes a difference with the rehydration. Uh, see if the results vary at all. Okay, our pasta's done. I used two 16 ounce bags of spaghetti pasta. That's a really common size and what I'm hoping is that one bag will, uh, will spread evenly throughout one tray. Looks like it might go even farther than that. Two 16 ounce packages of pasta. It will fill three trays. This is as full as I would want to get them. Uh, they're all gonna be about 1,760 to 70 grams. Obviously different pastas and different cooking times and things are gonna vary a little bit, but really what you wanna focus on is making sure that the weight is all even on all of your trays. And then next I'm gonna take a 24 ounce uh, jar of tomato sauce and I would, hopefully this will cover one whole tray for each jar because I know that people love their spaghetti sauce. And I realize that everyone's preferences are different. Some people want more sauce, some people want less sauce. Uh, but let's get to the most important part, the meatball. But before we put those meatballs in, we are going to take our dividers. And these do have a knife edge on the bottom. So we're actually going to be able to press through these noodles, as soon as we get them all lined up, we can press down and that's gonna make our portions. All right, we're ready for our meatballs now. I think I'm gonna do two meatballs in each of these, uh, but I did wanna make sure that I cut them in half for a couple reasons. Uh, one, it's going to help with rehydration because getting through a thick piece of meat like a meatball is uh, it's not easy to do. And the second reason is gonna be our height. We don't want this to stick up too high in the freeze dryer chamber. Whew, look at that. I think we're onto something here. I'm gonna weigh them one last time to make sure that they're pretty close to the, the same amount. 2895, 2900, 
and 28.87. So all really, really close. The Costco meatballs seem like they're uh, they're pretty consistent as far as their size. Okay, for the individual ingredients, I just did a whole tray of meatballs because these meatballs, you could throw them into all kinds of stuff. You could make a meatball sandwich and whatever. I just wanted to freeze dry a whole tray of these. Uh, this one I went half and half, half noodles, half sauce, and we can throw all this together and make an MRE and see how how different it is from the the ones that are just all together. All right, let's go down to the freeze dryer. Whew, I'll tell you what, five trays of spaghetti and meatballs has some heft to it, but I bet you once we get this freeze dried, this is not gonna weigh very much. Right now it feels like it weighs about 20 pounds. And then we'll do our three portioned trays on the top. And it looks like there's pl actually plenty of room, which is a great thing. You probably could get away with doing a whole meatball. So we're gonna get this started and what the heck, I'll throw a pillow in this time. It's been a while since I've done that too. And we'll see you in a bit. And while we're waiting for the freeze dryer, I gotta remind you to click subscribe to Live Life Simple. We do freeze drying on this channel. We release a video every Sunday at eight o'clock. And while you're, uh, while you're at that subscribe button, click the bell to get notifications uh, for future videos that come out. If you found this video helpful, as well as any of the other videos, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. It helps get this freeze drying content out to freeze dryers or out to people who may like freeze drying and they don't even know it yet. And for any of you that have been paying attention, I just surpassed 100,000 subscribers uh, as of the time that I'm recording this. So that was a huge milestone for me. So we'll have to do something to celebrate that in the future. Also take a minute to educate yourself even more about freeze drying. Join the Facebook group or join the MeWe group. There's tens of thousands of members on there, freeze dryers and uh, people that are just curious about freeze drying. Any question you can possibly think of can be answered on those forums. And maybe the best part of those groups that a lot of people don't even know about is we do a giveaway on those groups every single week of freeze drying supplies. And if you need freeze drying supplies, if you've seen something that you like in this video, you can find it at freezedryingsupplies.com. And we have just about anything you can think of for freeze drying, except for the freeze dryer. If you need one of those, you can follow our affiliate link down below. And now back to our freeze dried spaghetti and meatballs. Okay, we should be all done. I had a few vacuum problems. Uh, I have, they don't happen often, but every once in a while I have them. I don't think it was related to the pillow. I kind of just kind of fiddled around with a couple things and it, it went away. But between uh, having the vacuum problems and I added extra time so I could uh, get some sleep, we, uh, we ended up at 65 hours, which is obviously like way over the top. So not normal for spaghetti, I'm sure, but this should be plenty done. And that looks awesome. So hopefully from just this first video using the dividers, you can see the tremendous benefit of making portions. Let's take a peek at our individual ingredients too. Here's our whole tray of meatballs and then our spaghetti sauce and our spaghetti. Before we bag these up, let's get a quick weight on these. 1625, 1620, and 1628. And now that these are all cut up into individual portions, this is just a no-brainer. We're just gonna throw them right in bags. I'm gonna make that one serving. I'm gonna seal, seal it in half after I throw an oxygen absorber in and this is, uh, this is ready for whenever it's gonna be consumed. All right, let's get back to rehydrating this freeze-dried spaghetti. And it's actually been a couple weeks since I bagged that up and I've learned a couple things in the meantime. Um, I took my before and after weight in grams and divided it by 10 because that's how many portions I had in the dividers. And that actually equals uh, half a cup of water to add back in. So that makes it super easy. Uh, the second was we actually went on a two-week road trip in the meantime in this break during this video. Half 
halfway across the country and we really love freeze dried food for, uh, for that kind of situation because all we need is some hot water. And on that trip, we actually uh, thought it would be a great opportunity to try the freeze dried spaghetti and it worked awesome. And we had a couple of other people try it as well and uh, pretty positive results. The only negative was our meatball friends not getting fully rehydrated when they're in an MRE situation like this where you just add water back to the bag. Lucky for us, there's an easy solution for that and that would just mean that we need to uh, take the meatballs and probably just cut them up into smaller pieces. All right, here goes our half a cup of hot water. I'm actually gonna cover this up so it doesn't, so that steam stays in there. Whenever we rehydrate in the bag like this, I always put the water in and then fold it over and just let it sit for about three minutes. Uh, usually that's good enough, but that keeps all the moisture in, keeps all the steam in. I'm gonna set the MRE one aside because I want to try the individual ingredients. And I think the key to these meatballs and probably the noodles to get them to turn out the best is to just soak them in water. They're only gonna take in as much water as they need, so once they have that, um, we just rehydrate the sauce with uh, the appropriate amount of water and then mix it all together. We should have a winning meal. Our individuals, we're gonna just gonna do hot water. I'm gonna soak them and they can just be submerged. They're only gonna take in as much water as they need. And you can see those meatballs actually bubbling as they take in water. And then the sauce, I'm just gonna eyeball it and kind of mix it as I go. If you wanna just thicken up the brand you're using or thin it out, you can actually do that now. We're just gonna let these hang out for a second uh, and then we're gonna check on our MRE. Looks like our noodles and our sauce are doing well. Our meatballs, they're just still a little bit hard and I think the key is just to break those up. Maybe take a meatball and cut it into eighths or tenths, and I think those will have no problem rehydrating. Maybe something like about that size would do pretty well. But our noodles and our sauce, Those are right on. And for our individual ingredients, uh, it has been a few minutes. Noodles are all good. Uh, sauce did really well. Meatballs, they're still a little freeze dried and they, uh, they definitely need to sit a little longer to absorb that moisture. So looks like that's gonna be a reoccurring uh, problem. The key to victory for the meatballs is definitely either time in the water. Uh, if you were doing a whole meatball, overnight would do uh, just fine or the portion size if you're trying to rehydrate them fast, smaller portion size. And I know we all freeze dry for different reasons, but whatever your reason is, you can't go wrong with spaghetti and meatballs. Everyone loves spaghetti and meatballs and freeze dried spaghetti and meatballs, they do really well. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple and we'll catch you next week.